coming to you to talk about um, why you break out in certain areas on your face. This is a question I get asked a lot of by my clients. And so I thought, why not just come on and chat about it really quickly um, with you guys? So the um, our, our in, insides, <laughs> our body speaks to us in a lot of ways. And being that skin is our largest breathing organ, a lot of that can show up on our face, on our bodies, on our skin. And um, I, being that I'm an esthetician, I'm just going to talk really about the face today. But I get asked a lot of why I break out, why clients break out in certain areas. So thought I'd break it down for everyone. Um, there is a Chinese medicine way of thinking that certain parts of our face are attached to certain um, areas of our body. For example, women. How many of us tend to break out in the jawline area, either during that time of the month, when we're stressed? Um, this is the first place I always break out when it's that time of the month or when I'm stressed. And that is because our jawline in Chinese medicine is attached to our um, gynecological area or our reproductive area, kidney or kidneys, bladder, etc. So um, this is why this area tends to break out a lot for women when they're stressed or during their menstrual cycle. Now, even if you are maybe past your menstrual cycle, um, you can still experience breakouts in this area, hormonal breakouts, because your body is still producing, um, maybe not... Um, I'm not a scientist. I don't want to get it wrong, but basically, um, you're still going to experience breakouts in that area, if that makes any sense. Um, some er other areas to think about, I see a lot of people that tend to break out in their T-zone or their forehead area, and that has a lot to do with our liver, small intestines, bladder, um, even our heart. So this area, you can, if you're maybe had a little too many cocktails, um, you can tend to break out in this area right around here. Also under our eyes, puffiness. I get asked a lot about puffiness, dehydration. Again, this area is attached to our liver and our kidneys. So again, I mean, I know after a night of drinking, I'm a little puffy right there. Um, I might have a little lack of circulation, so some dark circles in that area, and that is because it's attached to my kidneys and liver. Um, some other areas that I tend to see people that break out in or experience some redness, now this can be attached to that as well, similar areas of sensitivity, the cheeks. So that is attached to our stomach, our lungs, um, our colon is kind of right around in this area, the lower uh, cheek area. So um, I have, you know, clients, rosacea is mainly attached to either um, definitely an internal inflammation. So spicy foods can trigger it, alcohol can trigger it. And that is why rosacea is predominantly on the cheek area. Um, and rosacea is a whole nother topic. But um, so that is kind of a very, very, very brief overview of why we break out in certain areas of our face. Um, so just keeping that in mind, and again, for women, it is mainly in this um, jawline uh, chin area. So this is where you might experience a lot of that when you're stressed or um, during that time of the month. I tend to also see a lot of breakouts around the mouth, and um, that can be attached to your stomach and your intestines as well. So just some things to think about on this um, why on this Wednesday of why you might be breaking out in certain areas. So before you start to freak out or start popping, maybe revisit some things that you've put into your body. Um, maybe some things that you've done um, 